Ciao. Okay, y'all. Um, I just this was a real impromptu video. I was actually getting ready to send that video to a friend of mine, but we were having this conversation. It's a guy friend of mine in Atlanta. What up? Um, and we were talking about relationships, and I thought that that was probably a nice um, indicator that I should go ahead and do this video since I said that I was going to do like two or three a week, um, and it's been two weeks since the last one. So the conversation that was had this morning was about just really being on an up and down, you know, with a person. And I'm driving into work, y'all. I do have one hand on the steering wheel. Um, but, but yeah, just going in the up and down. And so we had the conversation of, you know, listening to Vivian Green, you know, Emotional Roller Coaster. Um, and if you don't know that song, I will link it in the bottom bar, but you should listen to it. It is like every word she is on point. Like when you really feel like you up and down with somebody and it's just, all a disarray that's that's what it's about so then it's like you know you you listen to that song and you just all emotional and all in your feelings and you know the the moment in mid song or the moment you get in the car you know it's like that song is an anthem it ain't nothing to cut that bitch up <laughs> and it's just it's so crazy because that has been my relationship um battle for a while now and it's just been this straight up and down up and down up and down and you one would really think like okay when does this end when does it get to a point where it's not this up and down mundane um you know having great dates great nights and then the next thing you know the person is pissing you off to high heavens and i understand that when you get in a relationship or when once you get married it's not all peaches and cream you're gonna argue you're gonna fight things like that but i'll give you an example um, I went out on a date on, I want to say last week, week before last weekend, um, a gentleman that I had been trying to, you know, get him to notice me and he's always noticed me, but he never said anything. He finally said something. And then I said, okay, well, you know, let's meet out. Of course I said, you know, let's meet out somewhere neutral and, you know, like a double date type situation with my homegirl. He came, and I was his, um, because I met him in work clothes. So his out-of-work clothes was a little hood for me, a little hood. But at the same time, he really had a great time with me. We, we were able to kick it in a non-hood fashion, okay? So we, we're kicking it with the multi-races and not just all black people. And he was able to adapt, and that was really attractive to me, that he was able to adapt and have a good time and really be into me, okay? Um, Follow-up date after that, even greater. I mean, all of my thoughts and conversation, all of my feelings, where I am in life, what I want out of life, he was right with it, and it wasn't me talking, it was him talking and me agreeing and being like, oh my God, really, this, this... This person is right on the same accord as I am. Um, and so that, that that threw me for a loop, you know. And so I really feel for that person, like, man, this really could work. This really could happen. Not like I said, okay, I love him in two dates. But really could see a future in which we could, you know, really build together. There were some things in his past that I wasn't too happy about. But I, but I mean, it's someone's past, you know. I mean, you can't continue to judge somebody. So, with all of that said, um, it is like two weeks later. Yeah, about two weeks later. And I'm listening to, it ain't nothing that cut that bitch off. <laughs> you know, so it's over. Like, it's over. He's not consistent. Um, and he's just, it doesn't seem to be that one that would be all into me like he um, said he would. And for whatever reason, if it's issues that he got going on or, or whatever the case is, or it was just a feat to, um, you know, to get me, that's what I feel it was, um, you know, but at the end of the day, it did not work or it has not worked. I won't say it did not, because like I said, it's just been two weeks. But at the same time, um, I'm kind of, it's, it's draft week for me. That's what I've been calling it on my Facebook page. It's draft week and, um. You know, I either end up with a number one pick or I just won't have a team. So, and that's just really transitioning into the summer season. 
and it, it really ain't no need to have a team just sit around and have fun you know with friends and family that's why I'm gonna be on if this if nothing works out after this week like not like somebody has to wife me up in a week but at the same time I have been in talks and conversations with individuals and at this point it's time to execute it's time to stop all of this and execute so let me know what y'all think um, I know it's only like a few of y'all that I've seen that have watched my previous video but you know leave some comments let me really know what y'all feeling and, and we can open this up to, as an open forum y'all let me know am I wrong or or like is it really has anyone else gone through that same thing where you on this emotional roller coaster and you're so emotional and you're so into the person and the next thing you know you it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off talk to y'all later